Happy Thursday, everybody. Dr. Adam Smith here at Ultimate Bariatrics with our uh, Thursday afternoon Facebook feed. I've really been having a lot of fun with these, and I try to be informative, but occasionally I like to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I've been doing a weekly update on what we're doing as far as COVID-19 and all this stuff goes. So as of now, we're doing as much as possible telehealth or video. Uh, so about the only people we're seeing in the office are people that have to have sutures removed, staples removed, hands-on care, or a band deflate. So pretty much new consults, six-month follow-up, eight-week follow-up, annual follow-ups. We're kind of doing FaceTime, Google Duo, things like that. Pretty much the same as we are doing before. We were starting to see more and more people in the office until the, the spike hit uh, in Dallas. So we've been fortunate. It's not quite as bad where we are, uh, but still we're being as cautious as possible, uh, especially since two of our doctors are in their late 50s and we don't want to get this stuff. So... We did test all our employees just to just because, and everyone here is negative, and we're very grateful and thankful for that. And so we're being very, very cautious. Anyone that can work from home is working from home. Only the people that absolutely have to be here are here. And unless you're in a room all by yourself, you're wearing a mask. So pretty much like everywhere else. So that. There, there, that's where we are right now. Our surgeries are still being performed because weight loss surgery is medically necessary and not elective. And uh, we're continuing uh, uh, to move forward on that because you lose weight, it reduces your risk of a negative outcome with this virus if you get it. So this has been hard. Staying home's hard for people. We can't, the gyms are still closed. And it's too hot to go outside unless you go first thing in the morning. And so weight regain has been happening. And people are frustrated and upset and angry. And, and myself included, I've put on weight during this crisis, even though I've fought it and fought it and fought it and tried not to. So I'm going to talk about what can we do to turn this around? What can we do non-surgically to turn this around. And the good news is, there's a lot of things. When I first started doing uh, weight loss surgery, we had one diet pill. We had fener Phenermine, that was it. That was the only pill we could use. Well, Phenermine is good because it's cheap, but it also can cause heart arrhythmias, high blood pressure, anxiety, dry mouth, I mean, it's still a good tool for our arsenal, and some people do really well with it, but we have started to get a little bit away from that. So if you had a sleeve or a bypass or a band, and you're five or 10 years out, and you've put on 10 or 15 pounds, and you're just having trouble getting that turned around, uh, we'll do a telehealth with you and get you headed in the right direction and get, get things going. So Phenermine's still around. Not my favorite, but we still use it a little bit. Then the next thing that we do is a kind of a newer drug, and it's called Contrave. Uh, we've had really good success with this drug if you're an appropriate patient for it. It's a combination drug of two drugs that kind of help control your cravings and suppress your appetite. Um, you have to be, a, you know, we have to take a careful history and make sure that you're not on a drug that you can't take when you're taking this drug. But that's kind of been our go-to drug initially on people that are just trying to jumpstart. Now, we're talking about people that have already had surgery, not people that are trying to choose between having a gastric bypass or taking a pill. Because if you haven't tried things before, like Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and Nutrisystem and red mount weight loss and all these different things. If you haven't already tried that, then just coming in and saying, hey, you know, I'm bored. I think I'll have a sleeve today. is probably not the best choice for us. So Phenermine's around. Now we have this Contrave, which we really like. 
Uh, we've had some that we call of historical interest only, and that's the Fin Fin and the Bell Beak. Uh, Bell Beak's been pulled from the market, so it's Fin Fin, so we don't use that anymore. We have another new one that's pretty cool, and it's called um, Saxenda. I'm just going to say this is five pounds of fat. This is how much you, if you can lose five pounds, you can get rid of this. So I'm not talking about you have to lose 50 pounds to be improved. Five pounds is good. Saxenda is a new drug that works kind of on a something called GLP-1, which is really kind of cool. And it's a shot. You give yourself in your tummy once a day. You start off at a low dose and increase the dose. I use this and really found it to be very, very effective. Uh, I quit it because I had to go on vacation and I had been on it for a couple months, but I lost over 20 pounds with the Saxenda and was really, really pleased with it. I didn't have hardly any side effects. Some people have nausea side effects. Um, there's another drug called Casimia out there, which is a combination of Fin Fin and a drug called Topiramate, which we use for migraines and things like that, uh, which is also effective. The upside of these medications is we can use them for a short period of time for people that have been successful, that have had their weight loss operation, that are doing good in combination with working with our dietitian, talking to their doctor, keeping a food log, keeping an exercise journal, doing all these things that we know we're supposed to do that we're still struggling with uh, to get you going, whether it takes 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever it takes, just because you've had surgery, we're not like, okay, you've had surgery, bye. We don't, we're not interested in you anymore. When you've had weight loss surgery here, we're committed to you for life to maintain your success whatever it takes, whether it's coming to the support group, which is now online, uh, seeing the dietitian, seeing the dietitian and the doctor, seeing the dietitian, the doctor and the support group, seeing the dietitian, the doctor, the support group and taking medication, whatever it takes to keep you on track and keep you moving forward with improving your health. That's what we're all about. That's what we're here for. So uh, sometimes you're going to require a revision. Um, we try to avoid having to have a revision, but sometimes that happens. Sometimes our sleep patients develop severe heartburn so bad that the medication can't control it anymore, and we have to do something about that heartburn. Sometimes our fan patients get a slippage or something uh, or an acute emergency where they had to have their band removed. We hate removing lap bands. I do not like to remove a lap band that's positioned properly and working. I will do whatever it takes to help you make that band work for you. But at some point, sometimes you either have a slip or a hernia or something that requires to be removed. When that happens, we'll maintain you medically or if you have to have another surgery, we certainly will offer that down the road. But we try to make whatever tool you already have work to its maximum effectiveness. If you had weight loss surgery somewhere else, uh, we're willing to help you. If you want to come in and use us for some, maybe your surgeon retired, maybe your surgeon died, uh, maybe your surgeon moved to another state. Uh, if you need someone to maintain that follow-up, you need to be in follow-up. You need someone monitoring you every year from now on to make sure you stay on track, that your vitamins are good, your labs are good, everything is going well for you. So the focus is we're not just about a surgery every time you come in the door. We're about doing whatever it takes to make you stay on track, be good. We're also offering that reboot program. We talked about this last year. I did it and I think I'm, when I get back from vacation, I'm gonna do it again. Uh, where it's a two-week program where it's pretty much a liquid and, and bar meal replacement program to kind of reset you, and then we start reintroducing food a little at a time. That's still available. 
we were very pleased with the results of that because some of us need to just really hunker down and focus for a couple of weeks to get back on track. Some of us can modify our behavior easier than others. So if you're struggling, make a telehealth appointment. Let's talk about it and let's see if there's something we can do to get you back on track to maintain your weight loss. So this was a quick one today. I just want to say to all of our patients out there and friends, how much from the bottom of my heart that I appreciate the support you have given us and us in this practice over the last years and especially in these recent weeks of trying times. I refuse to be pessimistic about this stuff. I believe that, that the, the brighter future is just around the corner. I mean, in the history of our country, we've conquered a lot of things worse than this. We've conquered, pretty much conquered polio and measles and mumps, and we've fought wars to preserve our freedom. We're going to win this battle. It may take time, but we will prevail, and we will get back to a lifestyle that's acceptable for all of us. Don't let this stuff get you down. If you're struggling with your weight, you call us, and we'll do whatever it takes to get you back on track. That's it for today. Look forward to seeing you all in the near future. Be safe. Do what you got to do to get through this. If you need us, call us. We're still here. That's all for now. See y'all later.